Hey, this is Mike with AshTractorMike.com. I'm at the old dealership I worked at for 11 years with a good friend of mine, Hoot, who uh, advises the Tractor Mike community from time to time when it stumps me. And today, we're looking at a hydraulic cylinder. I've had on my tractor for a long time one hydraulic cylinder that was leaking internally. And it's winter, and I took my own advice and got the tractor in the dealership when they were slow to get it repaired. And Hood is going to show us today what goes on inside a hydraulic cylinder and find out what's wrong with mine. And to give you a little education of what's going on inside a hydraulic system. Let's get started. We got the cylinder off in the vise and most of these glands unscrew. Some of them has got a lock wire on that you have to take off to get the gland off. But almost all of them unscrew. Now, now, we probably ought to own up at this time. You actually loosened that on the tractor, which is a lot easier to do. Yep. So that way, sometimes people don't have a vise, and you can just leave the cylinder hooked to the machine on the barrel end, and then take the cylinder apart on the machine. We're in a working shop, so we've got a little noise here we apologize for, but what it's going to do is take that apart and see uh, we've pretty much determined that this is the cylinder that's leaking and it's leaking inside there's no oil coming out this is what's inside one of these cylinders that's on your loader now when you look at the seals how do they look the packing is good but that piston should not be spinning because that means the nut has backed off enough and oil is leaking past this piston on the internal part of it and coming out around the nut and that's what lets his bucket roll over when he leaves it set. Put that back in there and let's show people exactly how a hydraulic cylinder works. On every tractor you've got a hydraulic pump that's pushing oil and when you pull your joystick back that directs the flow of oil to the cylinders and then show us who right there what's going on whenever oil comes in there when oil goes in this port it will push the rod back and when oil comes in this port it'll push the rod the other direction I can duplicate it with my air gun and show you okay Am I going to get an oil bath? Nope. <laughs> See, if oil goes in this way, the rod will go in. Okay. And if you do it the other way, then the rod will go out. <laughs> With a pop. <laughs> now, let's, let's talk about a danger. If a person is wanting to do their own work on cylinders, uh, if, if, the, if the bucket or the loader's up in the air and there's pressure against it, what's the danger? There's lots of danger because if you pull a hose loose that's an under pressure, you could get sprayed with oil or you could get pinched in between the loader and the tractor and it could shear off an arm or even kill you. There's a lot of pressure in there and a focused a shot of oil can cut. A stream of oil can cut your arm just like a knife. And most of these tractors run in under 25 to 3,000 pounds of relief valve pressure, and that's more than enough to do a lot of damage to you. So, so when you're working on one of these, the first thing you want to do is make absolute sure there's no pressure against it. And, and honestly, most of my audience, myself included, would be better off taking it to somebody like Hoot that knows what they're doing, keeps you safe, and, and he'll have this fixed in no time, and, and we'll be back going again. And, uh, I'm, I'm sure willing to pay whatever it costs to keep myself safe and to keep my tractor rolling. Hey, I survive on web traffic. I appreciate you watching my videos. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. And hey, if you've got comments or questions, put them below. I'll try to answer them. Hey, thanks for watching.